I said this in my last video, I want to know what the hell the filmmakers were on. Like, I need to get some of that shit. Whatever they was on to spark that creativity, actually take it back. I don't think I want that shit because this movie goes out there. I just got through watching P.D. Wheatstraw, The Devil's Son-in-Law. I had to watch this like two or three times because of the absurdity of this movie. I'm continuing my Rudy Ray Moore marathon. So I started out with Dolomite and Dolomite 2, The Human Tornado. If you haven't checked those reviews out, check them out. This is the third installment to my Rudy Ray Moore series. And that is P.D. Wheatstraw, The Devil's Son-in-Law. Human Tornado went out there. P.D. Wheatstraw went beyond. I'm just assuming Disco Godfather is going to go beyond. This movie is fucking insane. So, the plot. Uh, this movie actually has a plot. Holy shit. Rudy Ray Moore plays P.D. Wheatstraw, and it shows him uh, from birth. Yes, his mother is giving birth to a big ass, looks like a uh, whatever the fuck it is, a monstrosity. He comes out as a six-year-old boy already in diapers. You heard me right. Comes out as a six-year-old boy, talking shit, attacks the doctor, and then attacks his daddy for poking him in the head every night when his mama was pregnant with him. <laughs> I can't make this shit up. Fast forward a few years goes by, he only grows a couple of inches within those uh, six or seven years, and he's getting bullied by these kids, and this old wino-looking guy teaches him kung fu. And what looks like, a, I guess, a, a martial arts training sequence or whatever, in a pimp black exploitation movie. Woo. Now fast forward to PD is now in full Rudy Ray Moore form with the Afro wig, the Afro uh, pork chop mustache, and guess what? He is a nightclub comedian. Surprise, surprise. I don't know why they call it PD Wheatstraw. They should just call it Dolomite 3. So now the real plot. PD Wheatstraw is a thriving, successful comedian. And there's a rival comedian across town. Actually, there's two of them, two rival comedians across town at this uh, this other club. And their names are Leroy and Skillet. And they're trying to get funding by, I guess, some mafia people or whatever. And uh, to guarantee funding, the club has to be a hit. But guess what? P.D. Wheatstraw is across town. With P.D. Wheatstraw across town doing his thing, they're taken away from that. So they have to stop him from, from doing his act. P.D. says, uh-uh. I'm doing my thing, fuck what y'all say, you know, y'all can kick rocks. So Leroy and Skillet say, okay, if he ain't gonna bow down to us, we're gonna take out somebody that he knows. So he takes out, uh, they take out his little nephew, and then ends up taking Petey out at his nephew's funeral. And what should be a sad scene, but I, I, I forgot this is a comedy, but uh, it is hilarious with all these people getting shot at this funeral. <laughs> I ain't bullshit. This is some funny ass shit. So now what PD did, he gets a visit from this brother, looks like looks like a pimp almost. His name is Lou Cypher, Lucifer, get it? Lou Cypher cuts a deal with PD and says, look, I will bring you back from the dead and grant you access to the people that killed you and get revenge on them. And I only ask for one thing in return, and that is for you to marry my daughter and give her a son, which would be my grandson. The devil equips Petey with a pimp cane with superpowers. A cane that whatever Petey thinks of, it'll grant his wishes. Which leads to a hilarious montage of Petey rolling down the hood, skipping in slow motion, pointing his cane at wherever he wants, and he's granting people wishes. Like, he turns a heavyset lady skinny, he turns a broke down uh, whoopty into a damn Cadillac. He turns a cheating husband into an actual fucking dog. Yes. <laughs> I think I think I laughed more in this movie than any of his other movies combined. I still gotta watch Disco Godfather, but this shit was fucking hilarious. Not to mention, this contains one of the funniest lines I've ever heard in the movie. I gotta show you this shit. God damn! So long story short, PD gets revenge on the people that did this to him, and now he has to hold up his end of the deal. Now Lou is like, alright, you did your thing, 
now you gotta marry my daughter. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention, uh, when he was making the deal at first with Lou Cypher, uh, he says, can I see what your daughter looks like? Do you have a picture of her? And that was a hilarious scene also because he shows him the picture of the daughter and his reaction is priceless. By the way, what does your daughter look like? Yeah, oh, beauty has nothing to do with our proposition. Oh, hell no, man. Uh, no, 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 I won't marry a deal or no deal. Kill me, man. Kill me. Mm -mm. Yes, my daughter is quite unfortunate. Listen, I recommend watching all of these movies because they're all fucking hilarious. If you are looking, if you are looking for a good time, if you want to have a screening party for friends, I think I've said this before. If you want to have a screening party for friends where you just have drinks and watch the most absurd shit you can watch, throw on a Rudy Ray Moore movie. They're not to be taken seriously at all, but there's so much enjoyment in them where you just can't help but laugh. Laugh with it, laugh at it, I've done both. I did give Human Tornado a F, just because of how out there it was, especially compared to the first Dolomite. But I actually enjoyed P.D. Wheatstraw, The Devil's Son-in-Law. I laughed. I laughed at it. I laughed with it a few times. Rudy Ray Moore was out of his fucking mind, and I cannot wait to watch The Disco Godfather. It is terrible, but you know what? I'm going to regrade The Human Tornado, okay? From a film standpoint, okay, if I'm just speaking as a film critic, I will still give it an F. But as just somebody who just loves the absurd and just loves the ridiculous, yeah, man, Human Tornado will get a B plus. P.D. Wheatstraw, no, 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 take it back, B minus. I'll, I'll give Human Tornado a B minus. P.D. Wheatstraw, I enjoyed a little bit more than the Human Tornado, so I'll give P.D. Wheatstraw a B plus. <laughs> Because I think I could watch that almost as much as the original Dolomite. Anyways, y'all, have you seen Petey Wheatstraw? Comment below, comment freely, tell me what you thought about it. Are you a fan of Rudy Ray Moore? Let me know. Thank y'all for watching. This is Rashad G signing out. See you in the next video.